been initially given this task, I had no idea um, what to go ahead with until researching into what channels were looking for. I came across the BBC uh, who posted that they were looking for a show that was designated for the Euros in this summer of 2024. And with my great passion towards football and a ticket book to go see Scotland play, uh, which would be the second tournament in my lifetime, uh, I asked myself, kind of, from my perspective, what I would like to see on the television. So I wanted to kind of revitalise this whole kind of idea of Soccer AM. They predominantly done it towards Premier League football. This is an international tournament which has got a lot more hype around it. So I thought it would be quite successful. Uh, and it would create a uh, better demand and engagement with the multi-platform elements that I would introduce to it. So of course I wanted to keep the traditional side of things, your kind of normal pre-match analysis chat, you know, pundits talking football, that's what a lot of people want to hear. You don't want to damage the kind of originality of it. But I also wanted to kind of bring in the younger generation to this and bring more kind of engaging games and things like that that would bring loads of different demographics together to enjoy one platform. So I wanted to combine the great social media and visual elements towards YouTube videos. Growing up, football videos was a growing yet successful thing in the YouTube scene, combining these challenges and concepts that would have been admired by a younger generation. I thought this would mix well with a kind of traditional style alongside a structure of experienced, eh, sorry, experience through a handful of ideas from an already successful football daytime TV show and Soccer AM um, and I also kind of thought of the group the Sidemen um, who have basically conquered multi-platform really um, and base, the basis of their kind of videos did all come from, they all stem from football videos so I thought this would be a great way to bring you know three Kind of concepts of traditional soccer AM, you know, your daytime TV and your YouTube and combine it all into one that would uh, be enjoyed by a variety of audiences. So when thinking about presenters, uh, I thought Jubemi Iku, also known as Bems, uh, would be a perfect character for this and that's who came straight to mind. It's always good to support people that are kind of local to you, he's from air. Um, this is someone who I have great belief in that will end up as a kind of regular BBC presenter in the future. Um, alongside this kind of music that he does uh, full time just now. From personally meeting and speaking a handful of times on the phone to Bems, it's always been evident, I would say, that his effect, infectious and bubbly personality would be something that would be admired and a great benefit for a show like this. So that's why I decided to put him on. Because of his great personality, I think he would more suit for the style of the kind of more practical stuff, the football challenges and the trivia more than kind of in studio which would be a more experienced kind of person he's also a well respected name within the bbc he's done a little bit of work for them too and someone else who's well respected is craig telfer who has his own show if you don't know a view from the terrace it's on bbc so both bems and craig telfer are both worked for bbc uh, so i think they would be two great additions to kind of host the full concept of the show craig's a lot more kind of clued up in professional and kind of the full football aspect of things so I think he would handle a good studio um, and cooperate well to make a successful pundit show. I thought it would also be important to include rotational guests. This could be ex-players or current players, you know, they've got a great understanding of the game, it's what you want to hear. So I was confident of the multiple apps that I would use, TikTok was my kind of primary focus as it has excelled kind of massively over the past few years um, and the audience figures, analytics, everything is just crazy to do with that app. So that was most definitely the prime focus. Um, I've done this with including some at home challenges which were posted to be included with a specific hashtag that would then potentially be shared on the show, um, which is obviously a kind of reward for reward. I also thought greatly towards the structure uh, of Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, BBC iPlayer and finally created an app that wouldn't just mimic BBC iPlayer but also include participating challenges, trivia and more. I knew how important these platforms are and especially after researching and realising the demand for the style of this programme. Creating a piece that would be engaging for audience, affordable for the channel and overall a well structured piece for television. I thought that this would be a great success and 
hopefully you do too. So thanks very much for watching my video and bye.